Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tea Time. I'm Sophie. And I'm Isa. It's a little different because instead of having like a whole theme that we've revolved around, we asked a bunch of questions that were similar in certain nature because some people believe them and some people don't. So we asked people what they thought about different things such as superstitions, paranormal activity, and we got their honest responses on it. So we started off this question asking process with our friend, Lily. Do you believe in the paranormal? Oh, absolutely. Really? Is there any specific reasons as to why you believe in the paranormal? Well, multiple reasons. One is that, okay, so my next door neighbor, um, like a year ago, he died. And he mm. rotted in his apartment for like a month. It, it was gross. Anyway, um, I'm convinced that since then he's been haunting our house because our air vents are connected. Wow. I'm sorry, but the smell must have been horrible. <laughs> oh my god, it was. And like the worst part is our air was broken. And his was too. Oh, yuck. Yikes, that sucks. But like after he died, things would be like moving around that we definitely didn't move. And our dogs couldn't move because they were locked up. So it's like, oh. But the biggest instance was actually way before, like when I was younger. After my grandma had died, uh, one mm -hmm. night my mom like woke up because she smelled cinnamon toast, which was something that my grandma loved to make. And nobody was in the kitchen, nobody was making it, like there's nothing going on. But she had a feeling that she should come check on me. And I was having an asthma attack, <laughs> like in my sleep, that it was a good thing that she woke up because I could have died. And we think it was my grandma who saved me. That's really cool. Like, okay, not cool, but like, <laughs> It's interesting. It's interesting, interesting that things can happen like that, where it's just like that mother's instinct of just, I need to check on my, chi my, my child. <laughs> what do you think about aliens? I think there's some form of intelligent life on, a, on other planets. There's gotta be. It's kind of conceited to think that we're the only ones. But, you know, that's human nature, so I'm not really surprised. <laughs> do you believe, like, those UFO caught on tape type videos, or...? depends on the video some of them where it's like okay well yeah that's a ufo because it's unidentified but might not be aliens might just be new weapons that military is building use your brains people <laughs> i never thought of it that way a lot of the time it could just be like a really high up frisbee <laughs> exactly yeah from what i've seen from other people the way that they gauge whether they believe in something or not is through the media and through footage so do you think that that footage is most of the time faked or do you just off the bat not believe it or do you believe the footage i mean if it's like okay hear me out <laughs> if mm. it's from like big like media people it's probably fake <laughs> but if it's like a home video i'm more inclined to believe it's real because like most people don't have skills to edit <laughs> what about soulmates do you think soulmates are real yes and I've, i'm trying to this is a whole thing okay <laughs> okay <laughs> care to care to explain <laughs> yes i believe that like okay soulmates are definitely not just like romantic like they could be your siblings they could be your friend mm -hmm. and i believe that like no matter what you will meet your soulmate at some point in time but it's up to you to keep them like you cannot lose them <laughs> Do you think you have a soulmate now? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I'm so early for those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I say at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I mean, I feel like if I did, it'd probably be my friend, Paloma. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Paloma! Yeah, I we know Paloma. Soulmate. I feel like that's the closest I have to a soulmate. So. Um, that might change, okay. but we'll see. <laughs> like, many people view soulmates as just romantic, so... Like, it could be platonic. If my better half was whoever I am dating, I'm in trouble. <laughs> How about things like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster? Messy? Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> You're like, she's my best friend. <laughs> I saw her last week. <laughs> well, I definitely believe in the Mothman. <laughs> uh, Nessie, I think she's definitely real. I le at least at some point she was. She gives up dinosaur vibes, you know? Um, That's true. <laughs> Bigfoot, I feel like the Bigfoot story had to come from somewhere, so mm -hmm. in some sense he's got to be real, but maybe not what we perceive him as now. What do you think about the world being flat? I don't know why people believe that. 
like I actually made my own like like my own like theory that's so not true like it's obviously not true but I made it in spite of flat earth people because if the earth's flat why isn't the moon flat why wouldn't the moon be flat that's good logic (laughs) the moon's flat (laughs) and if you believe the earth is flat you have to believe the moon is flat so you have to believe that literally other every other planet is flat at least that's how if based on your logic is that what you mean yes the sun is flat too wow boom the sun is just a lamp i don't know what you're talking about (laughs) (laughs) next up we were able to talk to Alyssa. basically our first question is do you believe in the paranormal slightly i do a little mm, yes and no i mean Uh i've had some weird experiences but like i I wouldn't really consider them paranormal almost like coincidental dreams but nothing like real weird experiences like what well i mean uh this was actually pretty recent i had some weird dream where um i woke up it was like a dream wake up and at my desk my great grandma was sitting there and no we were just having a conversation about like how life is going she told me to like stay persistent and i was like okay and then i woke up it turns out i was dreaming the whole time and i told my mom about it she's like oh it's so weird last night was her birthday and i had had no idea Oh, wow. um, she used to take care of me when I was little, but she passed away when I was in fourth grade. Yeah, fourth grade. I think we were just having like a regular conversation. Like I was talking to somebody that like I've known my whole life. You know, I had no idea that was her birthday, but that is crazy. That's so, crazy. Oh my God. So I don't know if that counts as paranormal because I was asleep, but I kind of believe in the paranormal a little bit, a little bit. How about aliens? What What's your opinion on aliens? A hundred percent. I mean, like. We are a speck in the universe. In the galaxy, we are a speck. Like, it's so, we're so naive to think that we're the only ones out here. I mean, we haven't even explored the full Milky Way. We haven't even, got, like, really explored Mars. How, how are we to sit here and say that there's not life on other planets? There's not more organisms. There's so much uncharted territory. It's just like, mm-hmm. how naive do you have to be to think you're the only one here? Yeah. I, I doubt that we're alone. Is it going to be, like, the green aliens with, like, big buggy eyes that we see in the comics? <laughs> Probably not. I mean, <laughs> I feel like it's going to be something that we haven't even comprehended yet. Maybe, like, totally different. Will we discover them in our lifetime? I don't think so. But, I mean, Probably we're just, not. like, not that advanced. But, See, I do believe yeah. in aliens 100%. My like, fear is that they know about us, but we don't know about them. That's kind of scary. That's not kind of scary. <laughs> Yeah, that is a little scary. What do you think about the people that say the moon landing is fake? Come on, that's so, like, dude, obviously it's real. Like, okay, the CGI back then was horrible. It was non-existent. I mean, even Star Wars, which is, like, way ahead for its time, and it's not even, like, at the time of the moon landing, it, it's not believable. Like, Star Wars is great, but, like, the CGI is amazing, but it's not, like, believable. The Death Star mm-hmm. looks like a firecracker. Exactly. <clears throat> And, like, you you could tell it's animated. Um, And if you look at the lighting, back then for the technology we had, it's almost impossible to recreate the lighting effect. Like, look at Neil Armstrong's shadow or lack of shadow and try to recreate that in the studio in that time period. You can't. It's almost physically impossible to do that. Like, how could the moon landing be fake? Honestly, I think it'd take more technology. I I, I 100% think it's real, but that's just me. Do you believe in soulmates? That's a good question. Yes and no. I feel like, I don't know, I'm not really that, like, I'm not a romantic person. <laughs> I don't know, like, is there one designated person for you? I'm not too sure. Because, okay, you know what? This kind of makes me think of the whole Romeo and Juliet thing. And um, mm-hmm. a question that our English teacher actually asked. She was like, oh, if Romeo, like, if Juliet didn't die, Romeo died, do you think she could love Paris? And I was like, yeah, she totally could, but it just wouldn't be the overwhelming emotion that she felt for Romeo. Mm-hmm. So who knows? I mean, maybe maybe we do have soulmates, but we can potentially love other people the same way we would love them. And that's just a scary thing. Like, what do you go your whole life without finding them? <laughs> Which is 100% possible. I mean, if it's one person in a planet with 7 billion plus people, what are the odds of you finding them? Yeah, like, they could it's be on crazy. the other side of the world. Like, and you would never know. <laughs> How about uh, soulmates being platonic? What do you mean? There was somebody who said that said um, that they feel that their soulmate is actually not a love interest, but a friend. But that they feel that they're the person they're most compatible with. Well, maybe. I, I really don't know. I, that's like kind of heavy. Yeah, think about it. But <laughs> yeah. I totally agree. I mean, 
I think there are so many forms of love. It's not all like romantic. I think that's something we need to normalize. When you think of love, you think of like romance, but like the least, I don't, there's no love, romance love in my life. All my love is like family love. And then like, it's all platonic. And who knows, maybe there is. I don't think romantic love is a necessity in everyone's life. You know, like so, some people, that's like what they like. Some people it's not. And I think that's totally okay. Do you believe in things like Bigfoot? No, I don't. I just, I just don't. Why is it that all the videos look like they were filmed on 2013 MacBook? Like, there's no crisp video at all. That's really funny. I'm sorry. I was not expecting you to say 2013 MacBook. <laughs> Sad I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Man, even I'm on an iPhone 7 and, like, the video is, like, crisp. My sister has an iPhone 5 or 4, I don't know. And it's way better video than whatever they were using. I, mean, I bet on a flip phone you can capture a better video. So what, what were they filming on that is so blurry? A toaster. <laughs> I was gonna say a microwave. <laughs> it's like they were just filming, like, like a DS light or something. <laughs> they were like, guys, get the camera. I left the camera at home. Good thing I have my DS. <laughs> right? <laughs> what were they um, filming on? That is true. I never thought of that. As far as UFOs and stuff like that. Since you said you did believe in aliens, do you think that there have been UFOs captured before? Honestly, I'm not too sure. I mean, I don't know, because let's say the government did discover alien life, would they tell us? Mm -hmm. No. I don't think so. I mean, Area 51, we still don't know what's in there. Right. I mean, I really don't know. Maybe, maybe not. This is, I'm, we're living like the Sims. Isai said that to you one time, and you freaked out. <laughs> no, because you kept bringing up a bunch of other existential stuff, and I was like, I can't deal with this. We were supposed to be filming like a happy-go-lucky episode or whatever, and then you were like, what if like friggin like we're i was like what if like this is a world simulation world i was like please stop i read this tweet on instagram and it was like what if aging is a disease and like that's why we're on this planet they've like quarantined us on this planet because aging is like not a normal thing and i was like dude why would you say that oh my god that's so so scary. due to personal reasons i'm going to start crying um Let's move on before I think about this too much. <laughs> what do you think about the world being flat? That's not true. The world is not flat. I mean, come on. The world is not flat. There are so many pictures from, like, everything. Like, look at the gravitational core thing. Everything moves back into the core. That's why we're not, like, that's a, the, the biggest argument with the flat earthers is, oh, if the earth was round, why don't people on the bottom fall off, really? Are you serious? Everything gravitates towards the Earth core because it has the most mass. The space images from the, dude, I'm totally blanking. I forgot what it's called, but the thing that NASA sent up, oh, the Space Center. Yeah, the, the photo from yeah. the Space Center. It proves that it's round. Like, they're literal images that prove that the Earth is round. So there's this trend going around, like, on TikTok and stuff of manifesting. How do you feel about that? I'm not on TikTok. I have no idea what the trend's about. Oh, do you okay. Know what, have you heard of manifesting? Yeah, yeah, 100%. In a way, I do believe in manifesting, but like in a, I don't think it's like, oh, if you think about it hard enough, it'll like happen. I mean, I do believe in like vision boards, but I think they do something different. I think they almost wire your brain to focus on like succeeding in that, in that like area that you're trying to manifest. Like if the whole thing like, oh, I'm going to manifest my AP scores after I took the test. Like that's not how it works. You're supposed you to manifest, manifest your scores before. <laughs> right? I mean, look, I have a vision board above me. I painted that. and That's so oh, cool. That's so cool. Oh, thank you. Those are all my goals for the future. And I look at it every morning, and it almost wires my brain to think and focus on that so that I can take action towards that. And I do think that it's manifesting, almost like rewiring your brain. But I don't think you can manifest something into existence by just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. if that makes any sense what do you think about magic and like witches and stuff like that people that like practice like paganism or like wicca i have a few friends like in the school that actually practice that i personally mm -hmm. don't believe in it mm -hmm. i mean look it's not that i don't believe in it i just like i don't i don't but at the same time i respect it like i wouldn't go around a ouija board or i wouldn't go around messing with like voodoo dolls i just i don't want that I don't want to have anything to do with that. But at the same time, I don't believe that you could, like, some teenager is going to cast a curse on me, like, with a deck of cards. 
that's just I don't know you know yeah yeah at the same time I'm not gonna go there and like cast spells because I just don't want that around me I like I kind of believe in it just because I am a little bit frightened by it but I don't believe in it to where I would be like oh I'm gonna cast a curse on you just because you pissed me off today you know what I mean Mm, yeah yeah no I get it but from from what I've read up on or from what I've like seen I don't think it's mainly like the Ouija board and all that like I think there's more to it than that tarot I think that is a big part in it like reading the future or something it's like reading their future or reading like their months and stuff I've 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 seen a lot about this (laughs) so then honestly I don't want to comment too much on that because I am really ignorant with all that I don't know anything about it so Mm -hmm. I'm not really like a good source I don't really like I just I don't know anything about it so who knows maybe Maybe it is. Again, I don't know anything. I don't even know what they do, so I'm not really one to talk. But from what yeah. I do know, I don't believe in it. But I, I, I do. I believe in it enough to stay away from it. Like I'm not gonna like joke around with it or do it as a joke. But mm-hmm. I don't fully believe in it. Our final interview was with Gael, who gave us his very interesting responses to these questions. Okay. So, do you believe in the paranormal? No. Well, no, no. not at all. I mean, I, I, I would love to go into like extensively, you know, kind of like give my answer, but, but I mean, the surface level is no, you know, I am, uh, I'm an, I, I am a very like, I'm, I'm a person that likes to guide themselves by science and, you know, there's like pseudoscience that'll tell you, oh yeah, ghosts are real, but like, there's no like tried and like true evidence that'll be like, yeah, ghosts are real. And that's the same reason why I'm an atheist, you know? That's, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Has there ever been an instance where you either saw something or experienced something that might have changed the way you thought? In the sense of, like, paranormal, I guess. No, I mean, I, I've been told, you know, I've been told stories. I went to this, uh, I went to this, uh, in Mexico, there's this little town that's up on a hill. It's straight out of, of freaking movie um it's just out of a movie and like you go up and 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 it literally looks like it was made thousands of years ago it's so pretty but uh among those buildings there is a structure that was used as an asylum um so at the asylum you know we went in to get this tour it was really interesting who i was with at the time their children said oh my god we saw we saw a, a lady move now it would be fine. Uh, the only thing that was interesting about that is that they had no idea that supposedly in that same building, uh, a lot of other people had seen the same lady. Um, and that's what the tour guide had told us. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> but like, that's, I guess, I didn't, ch- it didn't change my way of seeing, but like, you know, that's kind of a story in which I was told that I, that they saw this. How about aliens? What do you think about aliens? Aliens are so real. <laughs> I know, I know. It's drastic. I, I know I just contradicted myself completely. But I mean, there's like, there's sure, there's like science and then there's logic, you know? Like, mm-hmm. the universe is so big. It's like huge. Like, and it's always expanding. There is no way. It, there is no way. Uh, that we are the only ones. It's just selfish. It's selfish to think it. Like, for example, when you say aliens, do you mean like small cells? Do you mean like tiny bacteria? Or do you mean like advanced, smart civilizations? Any other form of life on other planets? Yeah, so yeah. then that, that would cover those. Like, you know, if it's just a bacteria, that's still extremely interesting because that means that that planet or that rock or whatever it is was able to sustain life right and that's extremely interesting now if it's an advanced civilization that's a little more of a of a thought of well i don't know you know because because i mean it is very possible that there are civilizations that are just way beyond ours um (laughs) you know there's a ton of documentaries out that are just so so interesting uh speaking on that topic but I don't know about that, but I'm a hundred percent sure that there is, that there has to be, there has to be like, at least like bacteria living out there. That's really interesting. Cause like no one ever mentioned like bacteria 
they were just like they they immediately went to like you know the stereotypical like alien thought like yeah like backwards raindrop sort of face what do you think about soulmates do you believe in them um uh, i don't think that we have a predetermined person that's just like you know ready to be fallen in love with and we're gonna spend our life with them i believe that 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 you can create a soulmate if that makes sense like you can definitely i believe that you can fall in love and you can say oh this is my soulmate and you can stay with them forever but i don't mm-hmm. think that that's something that's predetermined i think that that's something that you that you make you know there was someone else that we interviewed previously and she said that she does believe in soulmates but that they they're not necessarily romantic if that makes any sense that soulmates could be friends or yeah yeah but i mean you know similar to the alien question where everyone thinks of advanced civilizations when people think of civil uh when people think of uh, soulmates they automatically just start thinking you know romantic relationships but in the sense Mm -hmm. of in the sense of uh friendship i think it's i think the same i think the same thing applies you know because you know you can you can love a friend i i love most of my friends um, some of them I just completely hate. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, uh, Sophie. Um, no, I'm um, no, but like, I believe that you can make soulmates, but I don't think that it's something that's like already predetermined. How about things like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster? You know, I wish that I could say yes, cause they are so interesting. Uh, and I think that if it, if it was regarding something different, you know, something that's not like the California forest, where it's literally so easy, like people have just explored it so much. I don't think if Bigfoot is real, you know, there is possible, it's possible that they confused it with just another big mammal that they're like, oh, he had a big foot, you know, but there is like no. Like concrete evidence. Exactly. There's no concrete evidence. Mm-hmm. And so especially considering that you know the california forest i mean obviously that there's not like a forest named the california forest but like in general you know it's just one big uh northern california is just one big forest (laughs) basically uh so many people have gone up there it's not possible that they have not seen something like that i I mean logically is what i think and then the loch ness monster it's possible that they could have just seen like a really large eel you know it's uh, there's like really large eels that exist and they're like oh looks like a dinosaur you know <laughs> but i don't think that there is a i don't think that those exist no what do you think about the world being flat <laughs> you know i was a flat earther for a while not gonna lie yeah Actually? i know i know i know yeah yeah so the reason that i was i i'm not anymore i believe it's a very much a geode um but the reason that i was a flat earther uh was because i saw one vsauce video <laughs> oh yes <laughs> We love, we love Michael. Uh, and he was like, he just gave so much, you know, what seemed to be evidence. And then you start thinking about it and you're like, no, 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 it can't be, you know? But then again, there's like always that nagging thought of like, maybe, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, I don't understand if it was flat, you know, there's mm-hmm. like a lot of evidence saying that like all the pictures of the earth are Photoshopped, like, stuff like that but if there if if the earth was flat what's the reason to hiding it and if so why is the earth flat and every other planet is just not flat at all either like that just doesn't make sense and there is there's you know most things in nature are a sphere or like some sort of different thing like that and Mm -hmm. It would just make sense. I didn't actually think you were about to say, like, I was. <laughs> I was for sure. No, there was like a brief moment in time where I believed it. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of similar to the whole, like, the nagging thought type thing where it's like, what if we are in a simulation, you know? Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> he had a whole talk with me about that the other okay, day. Hold on. I he was like, the world simulation. I truly believe that we're in a simulation. There's no. Oh, please, please expand. Okay, okay, okay. So the theory goes like this. So if around 40 years ago, Pong was created, right? Pong was the first video game and it's the simplest form, right? Oh, it's okay. basically yeah. just two things like this, throwing a ball around. Super simple. Mm-hmm. Now that was created 40 years ago. Imagine how far we've come in making video games. You know, we've come out with 
such realistic versions of Call of Duty, such realistic versions of uh, like FIFA, you know, all these games that mm -hmm. literally look like you're watching a sports game on TV. So imagine how far we'll be in 40 years from now, like another 40 years, right? If we've come this far, the games are just gonna get so hyper realistic, right? And, 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 and just think about it this way. Let's say we are 40 years from now where the games are just so real right and we put on like a vr headset and we're just there but it's not just that they have pads all over our bodies they have things that'll recognize feelings you know stuff like that and the game mm -hmm. is just the game of life like ready player one like yeah i never saw the movie but i saw the trailers yeah um, same yeah now now isa let me ask you what tells you that i'm real what tells you that sophie's real absolutely nothing correct you only know that you're real, or so you think. Yeah. Right. Oh, God. I'm gonna have an existential crisis after this. <laughs> there is nothing that, that makes you for mm. sure, a hundred percent sure, that you are interacting with people that are real. Thank you. <laughs> you're like, drop the mic, here we go. <laughs> that's it, that's it. I just- You're not, you're not wrong though. Like, it's totally a possibility. Crazy one, but like, it, that would be whack if it was actually true. Like, right, so what if death is just not death and it's just taking off your headset? Stop, that hit. Hold I'm on. I'm a head out. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't mean that, you know, you're going to go around doing anything because because you're in a simulation. Now, I may be sure that I'm in a simulation, like, but I'm not 100% sure, and I never will be. But I also yeah. never will be sure that I'm not. Right? But on the off chance that I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna go around and do like stupid things in order to just find out, you know? I'd rather just yeah. live in it. So the next question is, what are your beliefs on manifesting? <laughs> That's funny because uh, Val and I were talking about that the other day. Um, you guys manifested for me to join a FaceTime and I did at the exact same time. Cause like, you know, following my, um, atheist sort of mentality i don't believe in that but val was like you know what gal let's start a group call with sophie and let's manifest that she's gonna join in the next five minutes and sophie joined in the next five minutes and it was kind of interesting but it's just a big coincidence i don't think that there's truly like it's just one big thing of like oh i hope that this happens and it's just gonna happen i think that you can't hope you can't be like oh i hope i get a lot of money you know, I hope that I blah, 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 blah. It's, it's sort of like, if you hope it, it's most mm -hmm. likely not going to happen. But why don't you try to work for it? Why don't you do whatever you want to try to manifest to do? Mm -hmm. yeah. I've heard that when I've seen people like do manifestation methods, it's like, it's not to manifest it to come. It's to, it's manifesting it. So you would want to work for it more. It's like, const it's a constant reminder. At least that's what I've seen some people say. It depends on the person, obviously. Sure, I guess but... that works. One point to look at it. But like, then what's the point of manifesting? If you're just, it's basically just an agenda. I don't know. It's It depends on the person. That's why I was like, that was one person's perspective. You know, it's it's an interesting thing to look into. Sure. Uh, do you have a question for that, Sophie? Or... Yeah. All no. right. Next no. one. What happens after death? No. <laughs> um... Oh, God. <laughs> Um, okay, next question is, do you believe in things like magic and witches, like, kind of like paganism and Wicca? <laughs> His face! <laughs> oh, uh, God. Uh, no. Then again, I, you're atheist, so... Then again, I'm atheist. Uh, you know, most of these questions should just be answered by itself with that sort of, like... Just, I am atheist. Continue. Right, I am atheist. <laughs> next question. Um, yeah, no, I am atheist. It's not a personality trait, so I'm not just gonna be like, no. Simple answer is no. Mm -hmm. Now, have I been friends with people that have claimed that? Yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> Do they sound completely ridiculous to me? Yeah, but you know what? I'm not one to judge. I'm just gonna be like, you do you, and that's it. And you know, yeah. they've been like, I'm gonna do a spell on you, or like, I'm gonna travel into your dream, or something like that. Can we send this yeah. link to her, please? I cannot send this link to her, because I promised her I would- You both know this person? 
Simple answer is no, I don't believe in it. <laughs> Alright. I'm trying to figure out who it is. <laughs> you no, don't you don't know. know. No. Oh, okay. They're yeah, probably was really some... like No, they're very like far from you most likely. Oh yeah. Not like Definitely. just in distance, but in like circles. No, yeah, I get it. So you had mentioned earlier you were like, Oh, you're not gonna ask me what um you were joking around, you're like, Oh, you're not gonna ask me what happens after death. Now that we're on that topic, what do you think happens after what death? What do you think <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. We live in the abyss. He went so serious. I'm so no, sorry. No, no, no. I mean I've okay, I've gotten to a point where uh mm-hmm. I've had so many talks about this and I'm just like, you know what? You've accepted it? Yeah, no, for sure. I had my first mm-hmm. existential breakdown of, of death when I was seven years old. Like, don't get me wrong. I was, yeah, no, I was watching uh, Caillou, and I suddenly just started crying, and I went into my dad's room, and I said, Dad? And he went, yes. And I went, we're all going to die eventually. Like, it's just a matter of time. Like, I just started ranting about that, and I was seven years old. I came out of been a little younger. But. Oh, my God. Okay, so keep going. Yeah, so that's that's basically a thing where that's been a reoccurring mm-hmm. thing of like I've thought about that so much, and I think that it's either a we take off the headset, you know, as I said before, or more most likely b you know we just we die we we die in the abyss and there's nothing there's absolutely nothing we we just cease to exist, mm-hmm. you know as 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 humans, we'd like to think that like uh, oh we're gonna go on to a better place you know, but that's just selfish. That's just selfish. Mm-hmm. Let's think. Let's think selflessly, and let's think at what's actually probably going to happen. Mm-hmm. Nothing, absolutely nothing. The brain will stop sending waves. Your body will stop pumping blood, and you're just gone. Time to go have a mental breakdown. <laughs> Time to cry. Woo! <laughs> yeah, no, and I've and I've and I've had this talk with um, my sisters hundreds of times, and the moment that really made me realize of like you know what, death is a thing, you know, that made me kind of like accept death for sure was this one talk, um, and I'll never forget it, with my sister, and and all she had to say was uh, one of these uh, these quotes, I don't remember who originally said it, but um, it was like, Gal, death is like the sun. You can hope, you can hope so much, and you can try to do anything in your power that the sun will not come out the next day. But no matter what you do, the sun is always going to rise. The sun is always going to come out, just gonna be there and you can't do anything about it and that's the moment where i was like you know what i can't do anything about it but i can live while i'm while i'm here so now that we're done with all those interviews we're gonna ask each other the same questions to get our opinions on it so the first one is paranormal i've had weird stuff happen to me so (laughs) i can you share yeah a lot of the weird stuff has happened when i was asleep it wasn't it's not that it was a dream but like the ones that I mainly remember were when I was asleep. Stuff has happened to my family, especially my mom's side, which is really interesting. Like, it's ranged from my uncle has shared dreams with people. My uncle has literally had, like, out-of-body, like, experiences. Um, Yeah, like, he, like, saw his, like, sleeping body there, and he was like, oh, dope. Anyway, and yeah, he's a very chill person. It's really funny. Yeah, weird stuff has happened to my family, so yeah. Yeah, and then, like, a bunch of weird stuff happens in my dreams, like, it's whack. But that's the story for another time. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, so I'm assuming the answer is yes. Yeah, <laughs> You do it believe is. in the paranormal. <laughs> I don't really believe in the paranormal, because I feel like if I did, it would freak me out too much. Like, you'd constantly be thinking, like, what if there's a ghost right next to me, like that? Yeah, I feel like I'd be constantly thinking that. But since I don't really mm-hmm. believe in it, it's kind of like, I don't know, I've, I've never really had an experience that would say otherwise. Like, I love, I love stuff like horror movies. I've always loved haunted houses, like those ghost tours that mm-hmm. you can take. I've always loved those, but I've never really... Fully believed them. Yeah, exactly. The next topic is aliens. Yes, but also, like, the stuff that they've captured on, like, all that stuff is like, you know, I, I do think that there's probably other life forces, like, out there. (laughs) It's just like, I'm not exactly concerned for them to find us. 
then again, if they do, I'm about to be like, take me to your leader, like, you know, <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, I would say so. It's more of, like, a depends. Yeah. I think it's the same thing for me. I don't necessarily believe in the little green men, but, um... (laughs) You don't know, they might not be green. (laughs) I mean, there's always the the chance that they're purple, but, um... (laughs) Or blue. Or blue. Blue is an interesting color, too. Like, I don't necessarily believe in the stereotype, again, what portrayed mm-hmm. in the movies and stuff like that, but that there's out of yeah. life forms, yeah, for sure. Because it's kind of hard to believe that Earth is the only planet suitable for life since there are do- so many different types of it. And life exactly. is meant to stray away from, like, n- not stray away, life is meant to adapt to its conditions. Like, exactly. um, some animals in the desert are they have mutations to adapt to the desert. I don't understand why it can't be the same thing for another planet. You never know. Aliens, like, if they do exist, they might look just like you and me, but maybe they have, like, a third hand or, like, two more eyes. Soulmates. What What are your thoughts on that, Sophie? Honestly, I don't really believe in soulmates. I mm-hmm. used to. I used to. It got to a point where I was, like... There there could be someone out there for you, but I don't think everybody has that person that's out there for them, if that makes any sense. Like they have to find that person or build that type of relationship with that person? Is that what you're trying to say? No, that I don't think they're, like kind of what Gael said, I don't think there's a predetermined person for everybody. Oh, okay. Like you want, like how he said, like you can... Grow to love someone and then just build that relationship up. Yeah, and you can kind of label them as your soulmate, but it's not predetermined. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I mean, I'm a very imaginative person. <laughs> so I do think that everyone has, like, their set soulmate and stuff like that. And it's just, whether it be, like, platonic soulmate or romantic soulmate, I think that soulmates are real. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, but yeah, like the way I think of it is that everyone has a soulmate. It's just your job to make sure you keep them in your life and make sure that you're treating your soulmate correctly. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, but sure. you know, yeah, I totally believe in soulmates. Just me being like <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Me being like the type of person that loves all that lovey-dovey type things. Don't get me wrong, I do too. I believed it for the longest time, and Mm -hmm. I stopped thinking it was real towards the beginning of quarantine, actually. How about things like Bigfoot? (laughs) They're so interesting to me. (laughs) They are so interesting to me. Bigfoot? No. Nessie? I haven't researched her. Mothman? He exists! I'm kidding. Mothman! <laughs> He's my favorite! <laughs> um, what was I going to say, though? It's it's kind of like a yes and no. Like, well, not, it's more leaning towards no than yes. But I just love listening to all these, like, stories and stuff like that. Because you never know, like, and the fact that some people have had multiple accounts of a certain, like, experience with things like that. It makes it more interesting because it's like, so are they being truthful or are they just adding on to the trend? Yeah. That's the thing I like about it. But for me, it's more of a no than a yes. But Mothman is very on the fence for me. (laughs) We're all a little moth. (laughs) Like like, uh, Lily said. (laughs) Yes. Oh my gosh. What about you though? No. Mm -mm. No. Just no. <laughs> yeah, I like to okay. hear about the stories, too. I just yeah. don't believe in them. I think it's more entertainment and fiction than it is true fact and science. Yeah, anyways, next question. Is the world flat? I don't think so. Same. We agreed! <laughs> yes, for the first time! <laughs> On, like, the fifth question. <laughs> it's fine. How about manifesting? Yes. And no, in a way. Because I think that you have to, like, 
when it comes to manifesting, I think it's like, if you put your mind to it, then you'll start subconsciously doing things to get to that goal. If you get what I'm saying. Yes. Like, if you constantly think, like, I am going to be very successful when I'm older, and you keep repeating yourself and saying all that, you're going to start doing things subconsciously, and maybe even consciously, to build towards that goal. So, I think. It's, yeah. I would say, yeah. It's more of a, like, maybe. Depends on the person, but me, yeah. For me, it's kind of like a yes and no type of thing. It depends on what type of manifesting because everybody manifests differently. But the thing is, I think the mind is so powerful that not it can make things happen, but it can make things happen within yourself. Like you were saying, it's kind of subconscious that you'll start going towards that goal. But I think that the mind is so powerful that if you're like manifesting for self-change, that you will slowly start to evolve yourself because you are on that mindset and you're on the right track to... A better life or whatever you may have manifested. So I I think it's more of like a psychological thing than a spiritual thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Yeah, that's how I think of it. It's more psychological than spiritual, in my opinion. But, you know, yeah. I'm more on the yes side than like the, you know. What about magic, witches, Wicca, paganism? The thing is, for me, I'm very ignorant on it. Like, I know some things because I find it interesting. But... I'm very ignorant, like, I can't really give my opinion on it if I don't know much about it, you know? Yeah. It's the same way with me. The only thing I really know about witches is, like, the Salem witch trials. And Mm -hmm. that's, like, as far as my knowledge on witches go and stuff like that. But as far as magic, I don't really think the voodoo stuff works like voodoo and witchcraft and stuff like that i don't really think it yeah. works again i can't really talk because i'm not very educated on it exactly yeah so i believe there can be magic not necessarily like pixie dust or anything but <laughs> magic i believe there can be magic between two people i believe there can be magic like like if you get what i'm saying like a connection so strong that it's almost like magic if so like soulmates? <laughs> Not like soulmates. <laughs> but again, it's a connection that you have to build. Once you've built a connection with that person, I feel like there can be magic between the two people. Or So it's kinda like you're are you kind of trying to phrase it like the like, oh there's chemistry chemistry between us type thing? But yeah. chemistry it's magic. <laughs> kinda. That's way better. Why don't people say magic instead? I'm gonna start saying that. So, anyways, that's about all the time we have today. Thank you guys for listening to another episode of Tea Time. I'm Sophie. And I'm Isa. Signing off. Love everyone. That's my final message. <laughs> yes, love everyone. No discrimination. Goodbye.